there, but guess what? It's my first video in over a week. Yay! Well, kind of not true because I did do like a blog TV video, but yeah. But anyways, and guess what? It's kind of about the fucking not at ground zero, not fucking Moss. Yes! Because this is what I always want to fucking argue is this fucking shit bag fucking subject. I'm going to tell you the real reason I, I, I stopped fucking making videos about this shit is because this has bled in to fucking real life for me because there hasn't been one fucking day where I've not fucking argued with somebody over this fucking not at ground zero, not fucking mosque. I mean, it, it's gotten to the point where when anybody fuck, I've stopped watching the news because of this shit. I fucking, I, I won't look at the newspaper. It's just, it, it's pissing me off at this fucking point. To the point where when somebody brings it up, I just cover up my ears and I go, la 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 la, I'm not arguing, la 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 Good fucking argument against this fucking mosque. Not a goddamn fucking one. They are all fucking stupid and ignorant. So anyways, but this video is is more about fucking Pat Condell. Well, more about his fucking fans, but I'm going to get to them later. Because I want to talk a bit about fucking Pat Condell's video he did before his last one. His fucking, my religion is fucking freedom. How fucking dare you fucking say that shit and then make a fucking video where you fucking say uh der, why will an insult be too big to be covered by the first amendment derp fuck you fucking never you do not have the fucking right not to be fucking offended in this fuck you're not even from this fucking country so stop fucking talking about our fucking constitution like it's fucking yours go fuck yourselves with your fucking invisible fucking nothing fucking nothing fucking constitution fucking sack of shit maybe when you get a fucking real piece of paper fucking constitution i might listen to you about fucking constitutional law but until then shut the fuck up also, that leads me to my first fucking bone, the pick with the Condell fucking fans. You fuckers owe me some fucking apologies. For everybody who left a fucking comment on my last fucking Condell video, Pat Condell Hates Freedom, leaving comments like, Oh my PC, fucking Pat Condell so totally loves freedom, you fat smelly bum! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, one one one, exclamation mark. You fuckers owe me some fucking apologies. Because somebody who fucking loves freedom would not try to fucking limit the freedoms of a fucking other person or group of fucking people. So, I'm gonna accept these apologies in advance. So your apology is fucking accepted. Thank you for fucking apologizing. Thank you for being the bigger fucking person. Okay, um, fucking point two. What was the... Oh yeah, point number two. And, and this is gonna be weird because this is against the fucking Pat Condell fans who are disagreeing with him on this issue. I just have to fucking ask you, what is it about this fucking video that make you made you finally realize that Pat Condell doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about? Was it the part where he fucking lied because he's fucking lied in videos before? Was it the part where he fucking overstated facts and fucking statistics because he's overstated facts and statistics before? Was it the part where he tried to limit the freedoms of another fucking group of people he fucking disagrees with because he's fucking done that shit before? This video he fucking just made was nothing fucking new. So I really have to know, what is this, what made this fucking video be the one that he fucking jumped the shark on? Please fucking tell me, because from my, he stopped jumping the fucking shark months ago. He's been straddling the fucking thing for the past three or four fucking months now. F fucking bone number three. And, and this is the, this fucking shit argument that I've seen used against myself, Happy Cabby. Um, Coughlin, Rith Randell, anybody who fucking doesn't make, who, who, who's made a fucking video against Condell. And it's this argument of, well, you don't make anti-Islam videos, 
So you support Islam. Pat Condell has never made an anti-Israel video. Therefore, he supports Israel. Pat Condell has never made an anti-rape video. Therefore, he supports rape. Pat Condell has never made an anti-drunk driving video. Therefore, he endorses drunk driving. Pat Condell has never made an anti-Benito Mussolini video. Therefore, he's a fucking Italian fascist. Pat Condell has never made an anti-Pol Pot video. Therefore, he's a genocidal communist. You see? I sound like just a big fucking stupid asshole when I say it. You sound like a big stupid asshole when you fuckers say it. So stop fucking saying that. That's not an argument. That's the fucking lack of an argument. Man, I blew through this fucking video. I thought it was going to be much longer, but when I'm angry, I fucking talk fast. So I'm going to end this with these two fucking questions that were left on Coughlin's fucking video to that fucking Canadian fucking dipshit. Because these are fucking retarded. Why do some of you view Pat Condell as ellipses? Bigot. Islam is actually a religion, which also leaves many reasons to dislike it, which seems fine from my perspective. Because, yeah, if you irrationally hate every person from a religion, that's not bigotry. You know, but if you hate every fucking black person for no fucking reason, that's bigotry. That's fucking stupid. Just, bigotry is not fucking racism. Bigotry means that you fucking hate something fucking for no fucking reason. And you continue to fucking hate it in light of fucking evidence that you are wrong for fucking hating it. Like how fucking Condell's been proven wrong in the fucking past. Therefore, bigot. He is a bigot. Now, the second question. This is the fucking, this is the cat piece of fucking stupidity right here. Why do some people use the word Islamophobe? Do you mean this isn't scared of Islam? Which many people are, I suppose, question mark. I don't get why I put a question mark there. Is there a Christian, Christian-ophobe? Yeah, probably. But here's my question to you. Why do some people use the word Islamo-sympathizer? Why do some people use the word fucking uh, stealth jihad disorder? Hmm? Why is it okay for your fucking stupid ass side of the fucking, uh, the owl to make fucking up words when it's not fucking okay for us to make up fucking words? That's just fucking double standards right there. So anyways, that's the end of this video. I'm probably going to be doing a video against Thunderfoot later today because oof, his video, I'm not, that's part of the reason I'm so fucking frustrated right now is because the second I fucking started his video, and he had the audacity to fucking show an outdated fucking map of the Ground Zero fucking site. Good job, fucking Thunderfoot, using the fucking dead to fucking promote your fucking agenda of bigotry and hatred. Good fucking job. You have become the fucking Glenn Beck of fucking atheists with that fucking move. And you know what? I'm going to look forward to fucking ripping Thunderfoot's ass a fucking part. Because, you know, unlike fucking Tommy, who I have the utmost fucking respect for, I lost my fucking respect for Thunderfoot a long fucking time ago. And he fucking deserves to have his fucking ego beaten in a fucking dark alley. And I'm going to be the one who fucking does it. So until then, I'll fucking see you later.